right, so now we need a way to show the menu or to hide it, sorry. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, just for simplicity's sake, I'm only going to hide the menu when you click on resume. So we're going to create another state here. And I'll, yeah, I'll just create another one. I'll just make sure that I select not affect by gravity. And I'll call this one hide menu. And from here, we can go from resume to hide menu. And I'm going to give the player a few options. I'm going to say uh, if any of these conditions are met. And I'm going to say they can press A on the resume. Because that makes sense. You're selecting resume, so you want to hide the menu. Or you can press the start button again. Or whatever OK is for you. And I'll change this to OR. Or you can press B right here and on press and OK. Now, the reason, really, I only need to press A because you're pressing resume. The reason I'm showing you this is because if you wanted all states to be able to go to hide menu, you would want something like this where you add, if you press start or if you press your cancel button, it can also exit the menu. So really, I'll just show you guys this, but I'll actually only put A is pressed. And this leads us now to what is actually in our hide menu logic. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to hide the menu. I had it fade out the same amount of time that I had it fade in, and then I have it disable objects. So I'm going to hit OK. And then after that, I, because we need the speed to change again, I have the change game speed back to 100%, and I'm just basically 100%ing everything that we 0%ed, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And it can be after menu screen. I've, I've noticed that it, it didn't matter where it was positioned. And then from there, we have a unchangeable condition back to waiting uh, for many to be called. So the uh, before we uh, play test, we also need to make it to where we can call the menu again. So on my link back to waiting for input, I'm, I'm wanting a few things. I'm wanting, first off, I want to wait the the time of the fade, because while it's fading, it's still active, I believe. It doesn't actually go disabled until it's done fading. So you want to make sure that the wait time is really quick. So I'm going to put point 0.1, and let me make sure that that's actually what it was. Yeah, okay. So you didn't want it to be the fade time, which was point 0.2. You wanted it to be, be under the fade time lower than it. And the next thing that we wanted is we needed a check for a specified object action. And we want to uh, make sure when the logic is in the hide menu state, okay, if, and this might make sense in a second, that's when you can call the menu again. So the whole time that you're in the menu, it's stuck in show menu. And it's saying that the second you go to the hide menu state of the logic center, so right here, when it goes into hide menu and it runs the hide menu action, that's when the caller now goes back out and waiting for input to show the menu again. So it's, it's actually a really simple design, a little bit complicated to, to understand, maybe. So if we click on playtest, we can see that we can now call the menu, and we can uh, press A on resume, and it hides the menu, and we can call the menu again. So let's get back to uh, our logic here. So 
we have our resume game. We have our options that currently does nothing. We can't select it or anything. And we have our exit game that also currently does nothing. So let's start focusing on that because the whole menu loop is now complete. We have our call menu and we have our hide menu. So now let's work on, let's first do exit game since that one is the easier one. I'll copy and paste this hide menu one, get rid of these, and I'll call this uh, exit setup. And this will be if A is pressed, right? All that we have to do here, well, there's some stuff you can do to make it look nice, but all we actually have to do is change your variable and it's gonna be in a common switch and it's called end game. And all you have to do is turn it on. So if you were to hit okay, and if we were to play test this, this would work. We can go to menu, we can hit A, and it ends the game. Now, usually you want uh, a little more like fade out or something like that. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So before we call this, we actually want to Let's apply a filter and let's see, how long did I do that one? Okay. And you can darken the screen 100% so it kind of fades out. And just a, a real quick one, half a second. And press OK on that. Put it up because we want that to happen first. Then the next thing we can do is we can start hiding our menus. Kind of like it's flushing out the screen. So we can hide our menu and you need to, you need to fade them out instantly or else you're going to have to wait for the fade out time before you can take off the next menu. Just by doing it a duration of zero lets you be able to close, 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 close instantly. Otherwise, if you had a 0.2 duration, you'd have to close the menu 0.2 duration, wait 0.2, then close the next one and then wait however long the duration was on that. So just not to be complicated, I'm just gonna say zero. I want it to, it doesn't matter, it's just gonna go off, so that's fine. And it doesn't matter if you disable it because you're exiting the game. It's not like you're saving the game in this state. So you can just leave it, uh, leave them on. Now you need to hide both menus and you can actually hide the default menu if you keep calling this. And this will just take off the most recently called menu. So if you take off the main menu, the next recently called menu was the default menu when the scene loaded. And so that's how you can take off that. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll add a weight of like 0.8 and then we will turn the switch on. So now if we run this and we go to exit game and press A, we'll see the, the menu goes, but the apply filter actually didn't go. Oh, it's because I, <laughs> I did the apply filter effects on objects and we need this to be apply screen effects. Okay. They're pretty close in name, I guess. Can't feel too bad, right? All right, so play test, we go here, exit game, except for I didn't select darken. <laughs> there we go. All right, so you get the point, we'll be moving on. So exit game is set up, looks great, I think, and we have most of the loop. Now, here comes the little, the more tricky part. We need the options to work now, the options logic. All right, so that concludes part four of Let's Make a Menu. In part five, we'll be setting up the options menu. And with that comes setting up the gauges that you can see on uh, this sample right here. So yeah, we'll see you at the next video.